What I have here is this small sports high definition camera. It can be used as a body camera or a security camera. It says in the instructions that it also can be a dash cam, but I wouldn't use it as that since it only has about a uh, 100 minute runtime. So if you are driving a long time or if you are walking a long time, it would not be a good thing. This is good as a body camera because you can turn it on and off if there's something you want to record. But I wouldn't keep it on the entire time. If you do keep it on for a long period of time, it makes five minute files so it wouldn't be one giant video to make it easier on editing. It has night vision. But instead of infrareds, this one has the black flash infrareds, meaning it does not glow red like most cameras. It's unnoticeable at night. That makes it more discreet. It's a really small camera. This is where you put the micro SD card. And there's the charging port to the right. Goes right in there. 32 gigabyte is its maximum capacity that you can put in it. You can't put a bigger card. And also this thing, once you get it in there, it's hard to get out unless you have good fingernails. It takes about two hours to fully charge. When you set it up to charge, you'll see a little red light flashing. When it goes solid, it means it's fully charged. The instructions recommend leaving it for 30 minutes longer after it says fully charged. It came with this small clip so you can put it on your shirt. It goes on here. The clip, I find it made a little bit cheap. So in the future, I may have to super glue it back together because from the factory, the little screw in the center there, it appears to be over tightened from the factory. And it came with a small stand. Here it is. So, as soon as you clip the camera into the stand, this, if you're not going to put it on your shirt as a body camera, you put it on here, and now you can screw this thing to the wall as a camera, or you can place it up on a shelf as a small security camera. In the instructions, it tells you how to set it up for if you just wanted to take a picture every time it sees motion, if you want actual videos, obviously if you have pictures, the battery will last longer. If it's on motion sensing mode as a security camera, it'll make videos when it sees motion. And it can last for days in that kind of position in standby. It can record in 720 pixels or 1080 pixels, which are both high definition. This thing tells you how to use it, everything, very easy instructions. It tells you how to put it in night vision mode. And it, you can also have it set to both night vision and daytime in, if it's dim but not dark so the camera will ma can make up its mind. It also came with this for your computer. You see, you put the micro SD card in there, and then you can plug it into your USB. That's an adapter. But I usually just put it in this, which did not come with it. It came with a battery. It did not come with the SD card. That's something you have to buy separately. Again, if I didn't say it, it cost $27 from Amazon with free shipping. And this is how it was packaged. The camera was in there. All the accessories were in the bottom part. And also, for this small box, it came in a box that was huge. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit how to use this. Okay, first, you're going to hold the power button for a few seconds until it lights up. Okay, you see a little blue light? Now, if I, if I was to leave it here and do nothing with it, this would shut off and just not do anything. You know, because it could have been in your pocket and you hit it by accident. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold it for just a few seconds. Watch. Okay, you saw it do, did a little flash. I actually held it probably a little too long. Because if you hold it six seconds, that shuts it down. 
So you saw it flashing. Okay. Now I'm going to watch what I do. Yeah, actually, I, I did that wrong. You just, you just press it, watch. Now it's recording. It's recording what I'm saying, and it's recording me right now. You simply just press it one more time, and it is off. If you leave it alone, after like 30 seconds, it shuts down if you're not going to use it. Or you can hold it for 6 seconds. Now it's off. Now turn it back on. It's on. Now once again to use it, one small press. It's recording now. One more time. It's off. So if you're walking around and you want to make a video with it, press. Now it's recording. Now it stopped. I didn't, I'm not pressing it hard enough. That's my fault. And over here, this button here, with combinations of how long you hold them, it says in the instructions how you set this thing up. This here, you press that. You see how it's red and blue at the same time? This is both night vision. Okay, sorry about that. I had to reset my camera. But you see here how it's both red and blue? That means it's on both. It is now recording, and if it was dark, the infrared would turn on. If it was light, like it is now, it would be normal. It's both. But if you're using it as a security camera, it'll go back and forth automatically. Now if you press it again, you see how it's solid red? Now it'll just be infrared. And when it's just infrared, with this kind of camera, it is purple the video will come out purple. Some infrareds, you have a black and white video, this will be a purple video. Go ahead and hit it again, now it's back to normal. And I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna show a few examples of places you can put this. It's a very handy camera. I'm new to this, that's why in the, it took me a few tries to show you that correctly. Okay, you see this? Yep, it just snapped on that easy. Now this is actually, it grabs really hard. The thing I don't trust about this thing is that screw that they over tightened. So just for a safety reason, this doesn't, has no reason to spin. So I might just put some super glue in there. See, you can put it up here. Tiny little thing. But more the point of this camera, you want it to be hidden. So you gotta put it somewhere where it blends in. This is what this camera is for, it's to be hidden somewhere. But this is the wall mount, you can put two screws into it if you found a small place you could tuck it in. Like maybe up here, without the mount. Yeah, look at that. That thing is so small, and it has the stand on it. Okay. Maybe put it on something that's a little bit more sturdy than this. How about right here? Yeah, that's better. But, of course, I'd have to turn it. So, I better get that stuff straightened out before I super glue that. See? Gotta twist it a little bit. Yeah, that is really good right there. 